down the right field line is Trotter Harlan. First pitch swing, and he launches this one into left field, and it will fall just short of the wall as any other day. That's a home run here at Patriots Point, but that wind blowing in keeps it from going over the left field wall. And Steffi will come through as the Cougars score first here in the CAA Baseball Championship. They take a 1-0 lead here in the bottom of the second. Dean does pull it, comes through. One run will come home. They will hold the runner at third. So now a 2-0 lead for Charleston. They are hitting Silent very well. 50 on the year, six doubles, two triples, two home runs. 20 runs batted in. This one out to center field. Dunyan shaded properly, comes in, squeezes it. Now runner will tag at third. The throw will be cut as the Cougars take a 3-0 lead here in the second. Great job from the Cougars to continue to, to tack on some runs here. But uh, getting after it. This one will be through the right side. That'll bring home one. They're going to send another one around. And all of a sudden, it is a two or a one run game as two runs come across. Still nobody out. That'll tie it up as Leach drives in the tying run. Both teams with three runs. Yeah. And Wood, one for one on the day, a double and a run scored. This one well hit out to center field. Dunyan was shaded the other way. Long run for him, and he makes the grab. Amazing catch by Dunyan in center field. I thought there was absolutely no way he got to this ball. He was, like you said, shaded to the right side. And there you see it, the appreciation from the third base dugout for the Delaware Blues. And what a catch Number nine, by Jake Dunyan. Gabe Dermott, number 35 for Delaware. Look like I feel up here in the booth. Hat off, holding his hair up, just mouth agape. Unbelievable catch. I mean, he's he's a half a step. And the strategy that goes into tight. So. Another one lifted high in the air, and that ball will be gone. A two-run home run by Tyler Leach, the catcher. Two for two on the day. He's got three runs driven in. You know, I was wondering if that was ever going to come into play this weekend when I was walking around the grounds here yesterday. That wall out in left field is angled over there. He hits it off of that wall, but it banks over the smaller wall. Right so that field, doesn't number seven. Home run. What a uh, vertical break. That you've got over a foot of horizontal break. You've got some of the track stats available for us up here. This one back up the middle. Long throw by the second baseman, Cavino, in Delaware right now defensively put it on the clinic. Bobby Charleston retired in order in the sixth. As the Cougars threatening with two outs. Mathis hits this one on the ground. It'll try and sneak through. It does. They will send Cam Dean from second, and he will score. The throw to third, not in time. Cole Mathis comes through as it's a one-run ball game here in the bottom of the seventh. The uh, game for him as he goes the other way and will drive in a run as that one sneaks underneath the glove of Mershon. The throw into third base. And not the in time as going from first to third will be Pomeri to Mershon. Popped him up. Leach. Drifting back, guarding from the sun. He'll grab it for the final out of game one. Delaware will head to the winner's bracket. A 7-4 winner over the College of Charleston. For the Cougars, they will drop to 0-1 in the tournament and 